Hello, people, back again. Just when you think the Oculus Rift news is done, you're thinking Facebook owns it. What interesting news could there possibly be left of this thing until it actually comes out and we see games released? Well, this month, Oculus Rifts are going to chuck E Cheese. That is correct. The Oculus Rift headset uh, will go into three markets uh, uh, basically to test out. There'll be Chunky e. Cheese Virtual Ticket Blaster Experience. Now, if you haven't done the Blaster Experience in the Chunky e. Cheese, granted, I uh, just there literally a week ago. It is basically a round cylinder. Cylinder. Kids go in it. They shoot tickets all up in the air, and as many tickets as they grab, they get. Well, in this case, it'll be virtual reality. The tube will still be there, but you'll have a headset on. Uh, it'll be available during a six-week test in Dallas, Orlando, and San Diego beginning this month. Uh, uh, Chunk, the Chunky Cheese uh, Entertainment president said, Kids are have an unprecedented access to games and consoles and tablets. Our challenge is to deliver an experience not available at home, and there is no doubt virtual reality does just that. Oculus Rift technology is a new frontier in gaming industry, and we're thrilled to be able to say it's part of the Chuck E. Cheese lineup. Uh, now, the Child Focus VR experience uh, comes with the collaboration of Real FX, uh, Dallas Bay Studio, who also redesigned actually uh, the famous mouse mascot not that long ago. And they said, We believe that virtual reality eventually will be as popular as handheld devices, uh, says the Real FX founder and executive creative director, Dale Carmen. It's a game changer. We're investing incredible time and talent in developing content for the Oculus Rift. Uh, if you want to, you could currently play the game uh, Blaster Ticket Experience on Chunk E. Cheese website. Not necessarily the Oculus Rift experience of it, uh, but basically it makes complete sense when you think about that they had have these in Chuck E. Cheese because kids are much more adapt to try and have fun with things than honestly adults do. Uh, adults a lot of times have a preconceived notion before you go into doing a lot of things and positive or negative and it does affect your experience before going in there. Kids a lot of times anything new excites kids. If I was a kid and this is at Chuck E. Cheese when I was a kid like my son's age seven years old I would be excited to try this thing out. Now, again it's just being tested in three locations right now uh, who knows if it would be more than that it is ironic when you look at the history that the Chuck E. Cheese founder, Nolan Bushwell, was the man who started Atari and how all things kind of come into a circle and come around at some point. But if you live near Dallas, Orlando, San Diego, you might want to stop there. Maybe you could try it out. Sneak in there when their kid's not around. Anyway, what do you think about this going to Chuck E. Cheese being tested out in certain markets? Do you think it's a good thing? Do you think it's a bad thing? I think for a company... Uh, like Oculus Rift VR, Oculus VR, and Real FX. Uh, this is a good data thing to see what this thing, how this thing works being tested with kids and what happens and all this other stuff. I mean, the more you test something out, the more you get the real picture, how it's actually going to do, what effects are out there, what things you that happen that you weren't expecting, what things turn out better than you want. So what do you think about this being in Chuck E. Cheese? Love to hear your guys' opinion like always. And I will talk to you guys later.